In the heart of Jamaica, where the echoes of history whisper through the ages, we stand before the remnants of a past marked by struggle and resistance. Today we embark on a journey through time, guided by the indomitable spirit of resistance that defines Jamaica's narrative. Our focus, the pivotal figure of Paul Bogle and the seismic event known as the Morant Bay Rebellion. In the shadows of these historic landmarks, we find tales of courage, stories of a people who, in the face of injustice, stood firm, embodying resilience and determination. Paul Bogle, a name etched in the annals of Jamaican history, played a defining role in a rebellion that shook the foundations of oppression. His story is not just a chapter, it's a testament to the enduring flame of resistance. Join us as we unravel the layers of history, exploring the life, the struggle, and the legacy of Paul Bogle, a beacon of resistance in the Caribbean's tumultuous past. In the rolling hills and quiet valleys of post-emancipation Jamaica, we witness the canvas of Paul Bogle's early life, a life shaped by the echoes of liberation and the challenges of a burgeoning nation. Born into this tapestry of resilience, Paul Bogle emerged not only as a son of the soil, but as a beacon of hope for a community yearning for change. As a Baptist deacon, Bogle found himself at the intersection of spirituality and community leadership. His role transcended the pulpit. It became a catalyst for social change. Bogle's leadership extended beyond the church walls, encompassing the fabric of daily life. A community leader, a guide, and a voice for those whose echoes often went unheard. Yet as the sun set on the emancipated Jamaica, shadows loomed over the horizon. The socio-political climate was charged with tensions, and the echoes of injustice reverberated through the land. Land, the very essence of independence, became a battleground. Questions of ownership, voting rights, and fair representation carved fault lines in the Jamaican soil. As the winds of change whispered through the sugarcane fields, Paul Bogle found himself at the intersection of faith, community, and a growing call for justice. As the sun set on the eve of change, the winds of discontent whispered through the narrow streets of Jamaica. The stage was set for a rebellion that would echo through the corridors of history. The catalyst for this seismic shift was an event that would reverberate through the heart of Paul Bogle's community, the arrest of his sister, a controversial act that lit the spark of resistance. In the face of this injustice, a fire began to burn. The people of Jamaica, long shackled by the chains of disparity, could bear the weight no longer. Colonial tensions brewed like a storm on the horizon. Disparities in land ownership, restricted voting rights, and economic injustices fueled the discontent that simmered beneath the surface. The Jamaican populace, a resilient mosaic of cultures, found themselves united by a shared yearning for change. The winds of change were no longer a distant breeze, but a powerful force that would shape their destiny. In this cauldron of colonial discontent, Paul Bogle emerged as a guiding force, a voice for the voiceless, a shepherd leading his flock toward a new dawn. The arrest of one woman became the rallying cry for a community, and discontent transformed into a resounding call for justice. The Morant Bay Rebellion was not just an event, it was the culmination of years of silent suffering and unspoken dreams. The Morant Bay Rebellion, a chapter etched in blood on the canvas of Jamaican history, a rebellion that shook the foundations of oppression, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of a nation. In the narrow streets and open spaces of Morant Bay, the Jamaican populace took a stand against the injustices that had festered for too long. Eyewitness accounts speak of a sea of faces, faces marked by determination, anger, and the unyielding desire for justice. The air crackled with a charged energy as the people led by Paul Bogle raised their voices against the chains that bound them. Paul Bogle, a shepherd-turned-revolutionary, stood at the forefront, leading with unwavering conviction. His call for justice echoed through the hills, a rallying cry that reverberated beyond Morant Bay. Bogle's leadership was a beacon in the dark, guiding the people toward a vision of a Jamaica free from the shackles of injustice. But the colonial response was swift, brutal, and unforgiving. The aftermath of Morant Bay painted a tragic tableau, the streets stained with the blood of the oppressed, the air heavy with the weight of loss, and the dream of justice seemingly shattered. Yet from the ashes of the rebellion emerged a spirit, a spirit that refused to be extinguished. 
Paul Bogle's call for justice and fair treatment echoed through time, resonating far beyond the immediate struggles of Morant Bay. The Morant Bay Rebellion was not just a revolt. It was a testament to the resilience of a people and the unyielding spirit of those who dared to dream of a better Jamaica. As the echoes of rebellion subsided, the aftermath of Morant Bay revealed a landscape scarred by the brutal reprisals of colonial authorities, a landscape forever changed by the events that transpired. The colonial response was swift and severe, as the authorities sought to crush the seeds of dissent that had taken root in Morant Bay. The streets once alive with defiance were now haunted by the echoes of tragedy. In the aftermath, the political landscape of Jamaica underwent a seismic shift. The rebellion triggered a chain reaction that reverberated through the corridors of power, leading to the implementation of direct crown rule. The implications of this shift reached far beyond the borders of Morant Bay. It marked a turning point in the broader struggle for justice and human rights, not only in Jamaica, but across the Caribbean. The sacrifices made in Morant Bay became a rallying point for those who dared to challenge the status quo. The quest for justice and human rights gained momentum, fueled by the memory of those who stood tall in the face of oppression. The colonial response did not quell the flame of resistance. It ignited a beacon that illuminated the path toward a future where justice, equality, and human rights would be the pillars of a free Jamaica. In the hallowed halls of history, the name Paul Bogle echoes with a resonance that transcends generations. His legacy, intertwined with the fabric of Jamaica, stands as a testament to the enduring power of courage and resilience. Monuments rise, solemn and proud, against the Jamaican sky, a tangible tribute to a man who dared to challenge the oppressive forces that sought to silence the cries for justice. The memory of Morant Bay lives on in the collective consciousness of Jamaica. Annual events draw communities together to reflect, to remember, and to ensure that the sacrifices made on those fateful days are never forgotten. Bogle's courage, like a torch passed through time, became a symbol of resistance, a flame that ignited aspirations for a better, more just Jamaica. His call for justice and fair treatment, once carried in the air of Morant Bay, now echoes in the chants of those who continue the fight for equality, human rights, and a Jamaica free from the shadows of oppression. In every step toward justice, in every triumph over adversity, Paul Bogle's spirit lives on. His legacy is not confined to the pages of history. It is alive in the hearts of those who carry the torch of resistance forward. Paul Bogle, a name etched in the soul of Jamaica, a beacon of hope, a symbol of courage, a legacy that continues to shape the destiny of a nation. The flame that Paul Bogle ignited in Morant Bay did not flicker out with the passing years. Instead, it has grown into a roaring fire, fueling the aspirations of modern Jamaica. In the bustling streets and vibrant communities of today's Jamaica, we witness the echoes of Bogle's vision in the tireless efforts of individuals and movements committed to justice and equality. From grassroots initiatives to nationwide movements, the spirit of Bogle lives on. The quest for justice, equality, and human rights is not a mere echo of the past, but a resounding call that reverberates through every corner of the nation. Community empowerment projects, inspired by Bogle's commitment to uplifting the marginalized, stand as living tributes to his legacy. The belief that every voice matters, that every life holds inherent value, continues to shape the fabric of Jamaican society. Bogle's ideals have become the compass guiding the nation's journey toward a future where justice is not a distant dream but a lived reality. The torch of resistance passed down through generations burns brightly in the hearts of those who refuse to accept the status quo. In every stride toward justice, in every triumph over adversity, Paul Bogle's spirit lives on. The ongoing pursuit of justice and equality is a testament to the enduring power of his legacy, a legacy that transcends time. Paul Bogle's vision was not confined to a moment in history. It is a living force that shapes the destiny of a nation, inspiring the present and lighting the path toward a brighter future. As we draw the curtains on this journey through history, let us reflect on the indomitable spirit of a man who changed the course of Jamaican history, Paul Bogle. In the narrow streets of Morant Bay, amidst the echoes of rebellion, Paul Bogle stood as a beacon of courage, 
challenging the chains of oppression and sparking a flame that continues to burn bright. His legacy is not a relic of the past. It is a living force that propels us toward a future where justice, equality, and human rights are not just ideals but lived realities. As we navigate the currents of time, let us remember that the journey toward justice is ongoing. Every step forward, every voice raised in unity, is a continuation of the legacy forged in the crucible of Morant Bay. In the tapestry of Jamaican history, Paul Bogle's thread is woven with resilience, courage, and the unwavering belief that a better tomorrow is within our grasp. May we carry forward the torch of resistance, lighting the path toward a future where justice reigns and every voice is heard. The legacy of Paul Bogle lives on, in every heartbeat, in every call for justice, and in the soul of a nation. Tassanig Glams, let me know what I think of this so video, and should I make more like this one? Please like, share, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.